Suji Disaster Relief Team travels to flood affected areas in Laos to prepare for aid distributions. A father and son take care of the paralyzed mother together along with Suji's companionships. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Maggie Tai. Thank you for joining us. More than 500,000 people were affected by heavy floods in Laos this August. The Tsuji Disaster Relief Team overcome the difficulties to distress damage. On their way back, they met a patient who was injured by a car accident. Hunters helped the patient get to the hospital. A Laos Tsuji Disaster Relief Team traveled all the way to Sanabuli in Savanaka province, preparing for the upcoming distribution for the affected residents. Six southern province had heavy floods in August. This is one of the most severely affected area. The water once reached nearly two meters high. Three months after the flood, many pieces of the road fell off and were covered with heavy muds and stones. Every car shakes when driving on these bumpy roads. Some roads are even hugely uneven, which makes cars harder to pass. Volunteers had no choice but to get out of the car. We passed by a broken bridge and later on when we were about to climb up, our car got stuck and the tire sank into the mud. Since the mud and sand were too deep and our car was too short, all volunteers got out of the car trying to lighten the weight. Volunteers overcame all the obstacles and completed the preparation mission. On their way back, they saw an injured patient on the street that was hurt by a car accident. I heard other volunteers were saying there was a car accident, so I looked out from the mirror and saw the patient was crawling on the street struggling. I was panicking. Then I asked the driver to stop the car and asked other volunteers to let me get out of the car. I jumped right out of the car and started to direct the traffic. That time, I thought the most important thing is to slow down the car's speed. We have two Tsuji brothers came out to provide umbrella and towel since the road was very hot, so they covered the patient's head with the towel. Then three of us helped the patient get into a car to go to the hospital. Laos Tsuji Disaster Relief Team will be holding distribution at Chenpasak in Savanaka Province from November 13th to December 4th. They overcame difficulties for the preparation and solved problems wisely, and spread the spirit of helping others. Turkey Tsuji volunteers hold distributions at the International El Manah Health School every month. At the beginning of November, four Syrian volunteers, including Professor Kuma, went to Taiwan to attend an overseas Tsuchen and Commissioner's training camp. They started to share with what they saw at the distributions, hoping more can join Tsuji. Professor Chuma of Syria always gives words of encouragement to his people at every distribution. But at this distribution in November, as a city volunteer, Professor Chuma encouraged them. In early November, Professor Chuma and three other Syrian volunteers returned to Taiwan for an overseas citizen and commissioner's training camp, where they learned a lot of things. They all tell everyone about it in the distribution. After going to Taiwan, I learned to be warm with other people. We'll apply what we've learned in Taiwan to practice in Istanbul to every person, every Syrian we contact, so they can also feel that Zuji's love. This uniform we are wearing represents the spirit and the responsibility of Zuji. It's like our religion. We will do our best to give all we have to our Syrian brothers and sisters and people who need help. The efforts what Ziji volunteers contributed in the camp was 100% diligence. So I want to learn Ziji's rule about using the precepts as a system and love as the management and copy it in Turkey so people can be benefited from it. 
The night distributions in two days benefit over 5,490 Syrian families. The volunteers who cannot go to a spiritual home in Taiwan this year also hope they can go in the future. When I wear the volunteer vest, I feel a mission and responsibility. I hope to become a qualified Zhiji volunteer. I also hope that someday I can go to Taiwan and meet the Zhiji family over there. Liu Jianju went to a prison and spent 18 years behind bars. The long years inside taught him the importance of family and faith. He began to paint and though he couldn't speak English fluently, he actively sought advice from foreign inmates. Eventually, he's able to draw his own future. When I was in prison, I met a Filipino prisoner. The first time I saw him drawing a sketch, I felt impressed when I saw it. What I painted was so different from what he painted. At that time, I wanted to learn painting with him. He was painting every day. I would sit next to him every day. I would see what he did. I didn't understand English at that time, and he didn't know Chinese well. We use hand gestures. For example, I'll ask him how to draw hair or eyes. He may be repatriated in two or three months to his own country. Then no one will teach me. I thought, what should I do then? All I could do was look back upon what he taught me previously. At that time, I was arrested shortly after I was an adult, and I thought about what I could do for such a long time, so I told myself that I wanted to learn the basics of painting. The prison had an art class, and when I was painting watercolors, I couldn't even do the basics such as skin tone. Every time our family went to see him, everyone was crying. At the time, he was so young and ignorant. They asked him to bear this sin, so he had such large criminal record. He had no friends helping during this process, and he was extremely angry and he didn't understand. He finally knew that his family loved him, but he still had the anger and didn't understand why people hated him. Later, he was willing to read the Bible and believe in Jesus. He told me that he hasn't stopped reading the Bible ever since this time. This is also part of my gratitude to God. I believe this is what God prepared for him, creating another path after the road he was on caused him trouble. I just changed in my heart because in the past I was more proud because of my personality, and I was only a teenager and a little childish at that time. Now I follow the rules a little more, and I think that I wasted so many years, and I don't want my whole life to be a waste. I have done a lot of work, whether it's in the kitchen or even doing scaffolding work and freelance projects. In the future, I want to teach a painting course. I actually feel that as long as my family can rest assured and my family does not have to worry about me, that's enough. Sixty-eight-year-old Siji Karasipia Miss Low cares for a son who suffered a stroke and her two grandsons as her daughter-in-law left the family. Her path has been very difficult, but her devotion to arts and crafts has been a way for her to find happiness once again. This mountain trail, along with fields in the countryside, show nature's abundant materials are everywhere. 
Regardless of whether it is a seed or dead wood, it can be transformed into beautiful artwork. If we like it, then we'll make it into something. We'll feel happy and so have a sense of accomplishment. I don't feel lonely when I'm working hard. Looking back, her heart has had a hard time recovering. She lost her husband at an early age and bore the hardship of raising three children. Her eldest son suffered a stroke 11 years ago, and his daughter-in-law left home, leaving behind a two-year-old and a 10-month-old. These children are to be pitied. I just wanted the patience to raise them. She thinks that life is better than death. It's painful, but she is very strong. She figured this out overnight as she wants to say that life always moves forward. Facing her challenges bravely, she felt the burden on her shoulders sometimes kept her from breathing. Four years ago, she came into contact with succulent plants, and this inspired her artistic creations, which healed her soul. Every succulent plant is one of her babies. When you watch this, you can see the endless cycle of rebirth. This teaches us that we shouldn't think too much. As soon as a leaf falls down, something new begins to grow. At the beginning, the economy was tight, and she saved 60 U.S. dollars every month to buy seeds. I have to care for someone with a stroke, also care for two kids, so I don't dare spend any money. Persevering and never giving up has been her motto. Now she has an art studio and she sometimes teaches at a local school. This shows that her life is gradually becoming more and more fulfilling. A family of three has a difficult time as the mother became paralyzed due to diabetes. The dad and son take care of her together. The son is studying at graduate school and towards a career to become an actuary. City volunteers have been with them along the way. My mother, seven years ago, because of diabetes and low blood sugar, led to impaired brain function. Mom is already now incapacitated and almost in a vegetative stage. It has already been seven years now. No matter what you look like now, you are still my mother. And mom, I'm still your Xiao Zhu. Because her condition is getting worse, it is impossible for one person to care for her. Now it takes me and dad to use all our might to care for her. When you get it on your hand, just lick it. A little bit is not enough. Just把衣服上的頭髮剪斷。
，妈妈早，还在睡觉啊？小叔今年。Xiaozhu went to National Taiwan University on July 19th this year for the North American Society of Actuaries examination. He passed probability theory and mathematics statistics. This is not easy. If he can pass all three subjects, means he will be an actuary. This big towel was also used in the beginning because the situation at home is really bad. We couldn't afford it, so I asked the volunteers to help us, and some towels are still in use today. It's been about seven or eight years, and I am really happy and grateful to them. It is able to appear in a timely manner and has really helped our family. 呃，就是平常我们来的时候啊，就 When we frequently come, the father and Xiao Zhu's clothes are quite poor because they put all of their resources into their mother. 呃，让我们看得有一点心疼。Especially Hao Chen, we really feel bad about him. 因为他们的重心 Because their focus is on the mother, they don't spend much attention on themselves. 就随便一点就好了。祝福你，越来越健康。然后浩辰。It hurts me to look at your clothes. I don't know how to choose clothing. I usually wear stuff that is comfortable. That is enough for me. I have not bought new clothes in 10 years. I wore one jacket for 15 years till now. And we don't buy new clothes over Lunar New Year. No, we don't buy. <laughs> Thank you for being so good to our family and giving so much to us. We will never leave you. At least you can stay with me for as long as you want. If you can live for a few years, then I will take care of you for a few years. For women who suffer lower abdomen pain or extra vagina fluid from time to time, beware that this condition might be pelvic inflammatory disease. Here's a report to teach you more about this disease. Thirty-three years old Miss Lin is often exhausted. She has to work in the day and takes care of her twins after work. Her husband is also busy at work, so she has to take care of her children herself. She can hardly get some rest even on weekends. Gradually, her body can't take it anymore. It happens repeatedly once a month or two, sometimes two or three months. It's usually when I'm exhausted. Ms. Lin suffers from pelvic inflammatory disease, and the symptoms occur when she is feeling tired. When I'm unwell, my lower abdomen will hurt, and I will need to lie or sit down. I will also have more vaginal fluid. Pelvic inflammatory disease is caused by virus infection. Doctors say that it includes inflammations of the uterus, ovary, and oviduct. The virus goes all the way up from the vagina to the surface and then from the uterus to the oviduct, eventually infecting the ovary. The condition which the entire ovary system is inflamed, we call it PEED. When the pelvic is inflamed, there will be significant abdomen pain. The main symptom is abdomen pain and increasing vaginal fluid with the color of green or yellow. Some patients will also feel nauseous and want to vomit, or some will have gastrointestinal problems. The blood test will show an increasing number of white blood cells, which signifies inflammation. Doctors say that one can be diagnosed with PID with internal or ultrasound exams. The patients need to take antibiotics for 7 to 14 days. The doctors also warn that PID is not a simple illness and one must stay in the hospital if serious. When her PID is very serious and she has delayed treatments, then it may become an abscess in the ovary or ovary death. When this happens, the antibiotic pills won't work as well and the patient needs to stay in the hospital to inject antibiotic. On top of a healthy daily schedule, sleeping early and having good rest are the keys to improve one's health.
Taiwan's Global Corporate Sustainable Enterprise Award were held recently with the Cixi Medical Mission, winning three different awards such as the Social Inclusion Award, the Corporate Sustainability Gold Award, and the Corporate Sustainability Comprehensive Award. Taking the stage to receive the Global Corporate Sustainable Enterprise Award, Ziji Medical Mission has proven its commitment to sustainable development, using actions to reduce environmental impact and also promoting vegetarian food, which is linked to practicing energy conservation and carbon reduction. The hospital uses a lot of energy and a lot of water, and then generates a lot of waste, which has a large impact on the environment. So we save energy, reduce carbon emission, and we pay great attention to environmental protection. We recycle everything that can be recycled, and we don't use disposable items. In addition to sustainability and environmental protection, integrating with the community is also important and regular visits to remote villages to provide free consultations. This helps to eliminate medical resource gaps and contribute to social welfare. We help the disadvantaged and those in remote areas. We ask how can we support them to eradicate poverty and eradicate these inequalities. What is more profound this year is that all of Taiwan is now very concerned about sustainable development. Winning the Environmental Sustainability Award means they have made a lot of contributions in terms of social welfare and justice. Social and environmental issues are constantly emerging and companies taking on social responsibilities will further contribute to sustainable development. Taiwan's Council of Indigenous People held their 14th award ceremony at Sangi Miaoli County. After spending 30 years supporting the indigenous students, the University of Science and Technology won the honor as a representative of non-indigenous group who made great contributions in the genre of education and culture. The students were free from wearing uniforms during the school venue. The indigenous students put on their traditional clothes on this day, sharing their beautiful culture with their classmates. We want to create a friendly campus with indigenous culture, so we often host some venues such as traditional clothes day or some charity events. Our teachers and students enjoy these kinds of events a lot. Ciji University of Science and Technology has more than 3,000 students, including more than 800 indigenous students, consisting more than one-fourth of the entire school student population. Within the past 30 years, we have invested more than 40 million 700,000 US dollars for taking care of our indigenous students, since we want them to focus on their studies and not to worry about their financial difficulties. We will continue to support our clients giving them encouragement through awards and spreading love to all the tribes. Ciji University of Science and Technology has inherited the indigenous culture for 30 years. They took care of the indigenous student and won a special group award from the Council of Indigenous Peoples in their 14th award ceremony. Cadet Ciji Kindergarten children donated second-hand books and toys to fundraise for East Africa disaster survivors. Take a look and goodbye.